you all began the exploration of this hell map that is hellish in that it is sideways and it kind of works but also my brain breaks you found why some... did they make this i don't know i guess maybe you were supposed to play with it flat but it really doesn't it doesn't even but work like that it doesn't really work flat either so like sideways makes so much have more separate sense. encounter maps or what i i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna bother make separate encounter maps you found the monkeys the monkeys jumped on you, and you were like, hmm, who expected monkeys? Oh, yeah. uh, you also found monkey. some goatee boys poking at a dead hag. You have not found the hag's lair yet. Um, but that's not your end goal, so you might not find the hag's lair, because you seem pretty dead set on going down. You also found a bunch of dretches who were digging into the walls trying to find Krakotek, as Lulu said, which is a Yenogi's pet. And you were like, mm, we don't want to find that guy. So you did not continue to dig in the walls for the dretches. You found a statue of Yenogu, which you promptly destroyed, as well as a bunch of flying creatures that you're like, nah. These aren't Verocrates. We don't care. They can die. And right now, you have just finished up killing a bunch of regular Ganoles. Also, Ari's a bitch now. Ari Stop! is... No! <laughs> I don't want to remember! I, 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 I was... curious <laughs> if anyone would bring up... Yes, Ari stepped in the blood, and the blood said... You're a bitch. And she's like, you're right, blood. I am a bitch. <laughs> yeah, uh, I guess so. Please take me well. Quite distressing for both uh, future Craig and current Karozi. But Lee you love to use Cone of Cold more than you ever have before. So like You're right, and it's been great. <laughs> getting off those big AoE damages is so satisfying. You know you don't give a shit that your allies in the way, it's so much easier to do. You know, I, I've always said, ah, if only if I had a third spell, and here it is. I have a third spell. <laughs> Or unfortunately has not stepped in the blood so it doesn't get to be extra funny because that would just be double fun I think but core turning turning cruel <laughs> uh, I can she, she, she stands up for herself we're <sighs> actually like five to you guys more you just can't that. tell because she slouches <laughs> Last time, I also mentioned that you all should prepare for leveling to 12, because you will do that <laughs> mid-session, unless you guys decide to leave right now, never to return. I leave. Right. Let's pack okay, up. goodbye. I cast Banishment on myself. Goodbye! Out he of the does universe. not want to play the campaign anymore, so he just leaves. Just the one Counter spell. Going peace and fading oh. out. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. The idea of banishing yourself to walk away from an argument and the other person is just like counter spell is such a funny fuck you to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? If Blue had access to it, she would have done it. <laughs> we ain't done with this conversation. Yes, we are! Banishment! If someone casts counter banishment on you, you can still counterspell it, because you wouldn't have left yet, correct? I think so. 
you just you can always counter spell anybody casting because it's a reaction to the action of like starting the spell cast. Fair enough. If only that's I why I counter spell. <laughs> that's why if you hold a spell, uh if you hold a spell, the person can't react to you casting it at a later turn or whatever your reaction is. <clears throat> they have to catch you before. Or while you're casting. Why spell, can't you react to a reaction? It. Because you're not casting the spell at that time. You have already cast the spell when you hold a spell. I don't think that's right. You can go, you can, you can find out. I can't show you. I don't have internet properly. No. It doesn't matter much. I don't have to. But anywho, welcome to session. You all are in a room with a busted ass statue and the body of a many, many regular gnolls. Gnoll. Gnolls. They're like gnomes, but <clears throat> hairier. And more elves. Yes. All of these things I would are like gnomes. to I would like to say which way we should go. Which way should we go? Well, your current options are the left way right. that the rock went, which is to the left, or the other way, which seems tight and is where all the gnolls came from. Hmm. Which way you guys want to explore? I think we should go the other way and not into the null layer. It's probably just full of poop. How do you know? Maybe they ate that. That's my opinion. Anyway. Well, it's a tight space regardless. So I think we should go the way that's not the tight space first. Mm -hmm. Okay, I concur. Okay, so you are trying to go to the left? Yes. yes. Glee, do I need to move you or can you move yourself? Uh, I, I need to be moved. Okay. I will move Glee since he is the light. As you all enter this room to the... The bone zone. Left, you find the bone zone! Which is, well, not where I'm looking. There is a massive pile of bones sitting in the middle of this otherwise empty chamber. There does appear to be some other throw cast off stuff in the bone pile, but most noticeable is the bones. Hmm. Might be worth seeing if any someone could detect magic and find it. There's anything in there, but I can do it. Otherwise best not to dig around in the filth. I can ritually cast Detect Magic. Alright. As Glee begins to ritually cast a spell, is there anything you guys would like to do for the next 10 minutes in this bone zone? Yeah, secure the chamber, basically. Alright. My secure is the chamber. Secure the perimeter. Yeah. See if there's any other entrances to the room. Uh, there is. You will notice as Glee is over here. Uh, there is a tunnel that leads up a little bit. I see that. Can we hear anything down that tunnel? Give me a perception check. Sure. I'm following Ari and staring at her intently. Still staring. 
At this point, she just completely ignores you. That's fine. With the 16, you can hear what sounds like very distant talking. Like, people are somewhere in this area, but not close by. And they do not seem to approach as you continue your watch. Yeah. After 10 minutes, you see in the bone pile a faint glow of magic. It is pretty close to the top, and it looks like a little bottle. <clears throat> Walk over, grab the bottle. It's a bottle. Does it have something in it? It looks like there is a smoke leaking out of it. Huh. Neat. I assume I don't know what it does. As far as you can tell with the information you have been given, it smokes. I got... I'll, uh... Walk over to Perosi and be like, Hey, I got you a... Got you a bottle of the stuff you smoke. I... That's vape juice. <laughs> she takes it like then looks at it. This isn't a cigarette. Yeah. Clearly a drink. What Why if you should I drink, drink it? Why would I drink a cigarette? I have no idea. Did you know that a drop of pure nicotine dropped on the tongue will kill a human being? Is that mice or Noah? <laughs> That's a Noah fact. <laughs> <laughs> the, the concept of mice just like saying that out of nowhere is very funny to me. Do you know what it is? Nope. Do you? She shrugs. She's like, didn't you take a sip of something earlier, like a potion, and it, you were able to figure out what it was from that? Yeah, I'll try. Takes a sip. No, she doesn't <laughs> let you take it back. <laughs> You can just. She will take a sip of it. Wait, no, it could be poison. All right, then you the pop. Healer shouldn't. I know it's the poison. The healer shouldn't drink it. You pop the stopper off to uh, try to take a sip of it, and instead out pours this thick smoke, obscuring all of your views. Oh. <laughs> can I recork it? Unfortunately, that makes a command word. <laughs> this is a okay. great idea, but can we stop this? I'm gonna throw it as far away as I can. No, okay. Don't. Okay, cool. Because my first thought is this is like a smoke bomb. Does uh, it go away? Does it follow the bottle? Does it stay? It it stays. So, as it continues to grow, it, it grows out from the bottle further. 
I'm gonna go find the bottle before it gets lost in the smoke. <coughs> I will help Core do that. All right. Uh, give me investigation checks to locate this bottle that has now oh, been thrown God. across the Not room. Wisdom, amazing, great. <laughs> All right, you know how far Crozy can throw things. It's right about there. Core, God, is it smoky down here? Mm -hmm. So, what you looking for? The bottle. Hmm, where could it be? Could be over there. Or could be over there. But it probably over there. But who could tell? You 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 might <laughs> Mac, yes I could. I probably do know where it is. Why are we staying here? Why don't we just leave? I'm gonna. Why did we open the bottle of smoke? I'm gonna start setting out some dancing lights and just start trying to look for it in all the directions that she said it might be. Yeah, you're eventually able to locate this bottle. All right. It is still pouring out smoke. Uh, is there any runic inscriptions on it or anything that might be how to stop it? Uh, sure, give me an Arcana. All right. Ooh, that's my spell list. That's my bio. Um... Uh, with a 17, you can definitely discern that this is what would be called an ever-smoking bottle. Mm -hmm. uh, and you remember that most of them are standardly put to some kind of basic command word like stop. Stop. You say stop and cork it back in. Yep. The smoke around is currently not dispersing, but it is not increasing. Wow, who knew that stop would make a bottle stop working? Wow. And she kind of like does a shooey motion with her hand and goes, go, go away. Go away. I mean... Disperse. I... Abracadabra. Nothing happens? Nope, it'll go away on its own. Okay. Okay. We get it. You've... <laughs> <laughs> Rosie just let out the dankest vape, vape cloud. <laughs> Bro. The hottest box. Congratulations on your ever smoking bottle. Yeah. Okay. Yay. Can we leave? I guess so. Yeah. Let's proceed. All right, which direction would you like to proceed in? The way that keeps going. Maybe. A leftwardly way. Leftwardly. East. All right, you all technically go east, but I'm going to have you move on the map. West. West. Because as you guys continue, you find it loops around. But both directions lead to this massive brass double doors that stand exposed in the wall of the scab. There's a relief image on the door which depicts a blindfolded angel wielding a sword. And carved into the door frames are beautiful gold inlaid runes. In front of the door, there are three goat-headed demons with barbed tails throwing themselves against it, as well as an ape-like fiend with tux tusk and tiny wings that kicks at them, roaring commands at them in abyssal, and a 
comparatively small knoll who stands next to this creature. Suppose seemingly telling him something that he doesn't, the first guy doesn't seem to care about. I thought you were telling us that the monkey demon was wearing a tux at first, and I got really excited. I got really excited too! <laughs> right? <laughs> He's in a tux. Yes. He's so dapper. The dapper demon. What would you all like to do? You do not seem to have been noticed so far. <clears throat> Move Glee over so you can theoretically see oh, the area. I can't see anything. Uh, this is what you can see. Oh god. I see nothing. Oh. Oh, it's one of them. Where, where is everything? It is. I don't see what we're looking at. Yeah, I don't Hold see on. anything. Yeah, you're gonna have to like ping us over here. There we go. There we go. This one we might move to a flat map for just because. I want to. Unless uh, you have an alternative way that you would like to go about this. We can shoot them. Yeah, I think you gauge them from long range and preparing for their attack. That's, right, uh, you... that's my idea. <laughs> We engage in D and D combat protocols. I throw my stat block against their stat block. All right, you would like to throw stat blocks against each other. There's the door. I'm drawing a beautiful map, guys. I bet. I'm really excited to see it. All right, I wanted to see. Nice. Up in the little, up in this little square, it's a bit higher up. So there is ladder to climb up to. It. Where's the ladder? There's one ladder right here, and there's one ladder right here. Oh, I can't camp both of them. I'll camp this one. Oh my gosh! Yeah, we could literally just. We're up on the I mean, ledge. How far up are we? I think this guy can fly, though. Oh, uh, I'd say 20 to 30 feet. So that's not like the worst to fall down, especially because we can just have Glee jump down and like put the ladder back up. We could just get rid of the ladder so at least most of them can't climb up. You could theoretically knock the ladders down and just shoot them. Oh yeah, that is a good idea. Yeah. Alright, let's go and like subtle like break the ladders. If you break uh, them, you're gonna have a way down. If you knock them over we break them, can pick we them back buy up. them. Yes, if you break them, you have to buy them. Unfortunately. <laughs> we have rope. Um, okay. Oh, that's true. Also, like, set up my... Krabu. Um, Hell yeah, I've... mice. I have to drag myself onto the map, don't I? Only yeah. if you want to uh, be a part of the initiative. All right, uh, if I, if you like, want to play the my, game. I've had it fought blood like blood a couple blood. times today. Like, I'm done. I still got a couple of snights left. As in most of them. <laughs> Let's see if this button works. Session. Muffin Did button. I roll? Yep. 
Okay, since... Actually, since I don't need to... Since we're using a normal map and it looks pretty normal up in here... I am going to use my phone primarily to roll things. Hopefully okay. that works. Uh, let's make it an auto damage roll. Good combat music. Is, like the bot lagging a little. Yeah, it does that. Use my character. I'm Glee. Nothing I can do about it. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we can do about it. All right. Sage. So you knock down a ladder, which alerts them to combat. Well, we knock oh. down both ladders at the same time, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay. Knock down I'm both gonna, the ladders. I'm gonna try to Eldritch Blast. Just oh, while we're test. doing that? You successfully te rolled Eldritch Blast. Okay, cool. Alright. Karozi, you kick over a ladder and you would like to probably fire a gun, correct? I would like to fire a gun. Uh, I'm going to try to aim for the big boy, and okay. I will use a grip point to get advantage and you sharpshooter. All right. Nineteen. Yep. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna throw a magic javelin. And then. Uh. No advantage, not sharpshooter, normal for the other two. One, two. So just... Alright. You fire some shots into the back of this guy's head. Which he does not appreciate. As he turns around to look at you all... He grabs this knoll that's standing next to him, and he actually teleports. Right here. Oh, great. Do I get, do I get a yeah. prepared attack in this? Uh, Does well, everyone get one, or just them? I went first. Yeah, initiative. Oh, okay, we're in an initiative, initiative. now, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was wondering because like there was an Eldritch Blast. I guess that was just a test. Okay. Um, yeah, it was a test. It was a test for me to um, see it. if the the yeah, thing was it. working for me. <coughs> With him and his friend up here, he ends his turn because that is what he can do. Uh, Core, they knock down the ladder, but there's still a guy here. Yep. Mm hmm. Sure is. Um, this seems like a big, big, big guy. Yeah? Kind of strong? Yeah. Yeah. He seems right. like he's some kind of boss of these other creatures. Um, let me look into a spell real quick. Chicken, chicken. Um, <laughs> it's chicken time. I could do that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Um. Good. Good. Like good. You're trying to chug something real quick. 
<laughs> no, it's just my brain stuttering. Don't mind me. I'm going to quick and spell. Um. Yeah, I'm going to quick and spell. Uh, mind sliver, and then polymorph. Okay. Um. Fuck. You're gonna fuck? Beehives are really high intelligence. Look at this bean. Hey, I have a question. Does quick and spell cost anything for higher level spells? Doesn't say. Not extra. Okay. Only okay. Two. Here, I'll post Yeah, it doesn't matter then. Yeah, no, it's fine. Wisdom next. Wisdom. Nice. That's and one she fails on, so that's fine. She yep. Time. Uh, I will give temp HP to Ari, since she's the closest one. Six. She's best champion, so that's... There we go, chicken. I'm gonna back the fuck up. So I get uh, the eight temporary? Yes. Cool. If it's lower than what you already have, then you don't take it. I had none. Okay. <laughs> uh, yep. And that's my turn. All right. Uh, th this thing is very confused um, because he was over there, and now he's over here, and there's a chicken. And he is aware that the chicken is his boss, so he will not bite the chicken. Because he's more than a regular gnoll. Little he does he know, the bite of the chicken probably is the best option. Well, see, he's in that, like, sweet spot of intelligence enough to know that it's his boss, but not Got intelligence it. enough <laughs> to know that, like, that would turn his boss back. Uh... So instead, he's going to bite and claw at Ari. 19 is the best of them. 19 does hit. So he claws into you for 7 damage. 7 plus 2? Nope, the plus no, 2 is from seven. the crit. Okay. Uh, these guys madly throw themselves at the door. Glee. There's a chimkin and a gnoll. Well, they are trying to throw themselves at a door. I think my friends got it over there. I'm gonna start taking these guys down. The guys at the door. Okay. I'm with, and, and so what I do is that I I start blasting. Okay. A uh, far right one. We're not pushing, we're just blasting. Blast. Yep. Blast. Blast. Blast, blast, blast does not blast. seem to have appeared. Blast. 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 The last blast. blast. Bring blast. There you go. Blast. Uh, yeah, you kind of jar this last one who turns around very confused because he hasn't been kicked in a while, but he did just get hit a couple times. So it's not sure what's going on. All right. You got bit. I'm sorry. You got clawed. Yeah, she's gonna retaliate. She don't like that. Seventeen. Yep. Yeah, you slash into him twice, and he yips like the knoll he is. You really should just run. It's best for you.
Uh, go ahead and give me an intimidation. Not good at that. Mm. <laughs> Why would Ari be? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> She's not mean. <laughs> Till now. Nice, your back lines have been infiltrated. That sure did happen. Alright, I will move in here. And I will attack Lenol. Here's a one attack. Don't have a disadvantage. Do that many damage. And the second attack. For that many damage. And a third attack with my hilt for the, the, this much damage. I do that many. You do that many. Uh, the knoll looks very bad. Thank you. Rosie. Um, there's a chicken. There's an almost dead knoll. Glee is shooting the goats that are still throwing themselves at the door. What would you like to do? I'm also gonna shoot the goats. I just gotta double check. Yeah, okay, they're still in my range. Yeah, I'm gonna pepper box the goat that... Glee whatever hit. goat looks the most damaged. Yep. Well hit. Alrighty. He also looks like he's pretty death dory. Chicken, gonna walk. <laughs> I don't know why I found that funny. <laughs> it is pretty funny. <laughs> Chicken. Thor. Yeah. Chicken. Um, so I'm going to ignore the chicken. Oh, God, how far are they? Um, they're pretty far. Closer here? Nope. Oh. I have to use a longer spell. Um, is this longer? It is. I'm going to hit the one in the middle. Okay. Chaos bolt. Yeah. That'll definitely hit him. Uh, six and a four, which is poison or force. Let's do force damage. Correct. That does damage. <laughs> okay, she takes some damage too. Um, Anything else you'd like to do? Don't think so. That's it. All right, Targnar is very hurt. Targnar would like to disengage and run away. He takes four light thunder damage when he does. Targnar does not do does not appreciate that. <laughs> He's gonna get hit when he leaves me range. Okay. Poor Targnar. Stop him. The Nar is missed! He dodges! And he runs. Goodbye, <laughs> Targnar. But does he run further than the 120 feet? No. <laughs> okay. 
quote, bald talking for someone with an Eldritch Blast range. <laughs> Rip oh, is he is he still within is he still within range? Of 120 feet, yes. <laughs> well then, these three guys are gonna approach. They have uh approached. That's what they do. Glee, there is a knoll running away. There are three approaching other beasts. Uh, how close are the, the, the goat guys? They have approached to about 35 feet from you. The is there gnome. a way I can stand to neck to all? They're in a line. Ah. So technically? Like stand next to the middle one? Yeah, you can stand next to the middle one. Hmm. To kill the null or to throw my life recklessly away. I know that you should throw your life recklessly away. That just sounds fun. You right? got this, I hero never... boy. I, okay. <laughs> yeah, I got it. <laughs> Glee goes over to the middle guy. <laughs> All right. You are by the middle guy. And then he's going to use Word of Radiance. It should do 3d6 plus 5. If it doesn't, let me know. Uh, that it didn't roll damage at all. Rolled the description. Oh, uh, let me do that. Hold on. <laughs> well, that's a cool spell. Yeah, it's a cantrip that's not commonly taken. It did it do it now? Yep. Yeah. Did it roll the plus five? Uh, it rolled 2d6 plus 5. It was supposed to roll 3d6 plus 5. So you What's tell it is... What's the from? Hmm? Oh, I have a little bit... Oh, hold on. See if I can find it. I have a super cool ability. That lets me, um... That lets me, um... Go, go, go away. That lets me um do a thing. Uh, Add your spell modifier to radiant damage. Yeah, I think it's this one. Yeah. Oh, cool! There it is. It's one of its targets. Oh, one. Okay, never mind then. That's fine. I don't mind doing doing this still, but I'll do it to the guy that I hit the most. Okay, you'll add that specific. To him. Yeah. It, that will kill him. Uh, the other two, unfortunately, pass their saves. Is there anything else you'd like to do? I think you've used your so, in your action. Yeah, no, that was it. Um, he will... He will say, as he, like, slams down next to them, you know... Mercy upon you! And then one dies. Dies. <laughs> dies of cringe. <laughs> All right, Ari. The I've Noel, got, he, got an anime on my side. The Noel Hell is yeah. in. The Noel is within Eldritch Blasting range. Yeah, 15? Yeah. He's dead. Should have ran when he had the chance. He was running. He, was... <laughs> he should have ran the first time I told him to run. I mean, to be fair, he didn't have an action at that point. He stabbed me, all right? <laughs> You're right. You right. should have just run. 
sorry. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> You're what hitting you me. With your other two beans? Um, which Look which? Look at uh, that tasty chicken. Okay, she's cruel, not stupid. <laughs> Um, which one looks more like her? The the one directly in front of Glee looks slightly injured. The other one looks fine. The last one looks dead. Wow, Glee's in the way though. Do it. Do it again. <laughs> I don't think that works that way. I did threaten you. Like Carusi did threaten you. I do want you. To let you. you would just hit Glee with Eldritch Blast if you shot Glee with Eldritch Blast. Uh, <laughs> but if I hit this guy, would it hit him or would it hit Glee? Uh, How does that work? Enough, you're up in the air enough, you could probably shoot All the right. guy in front of him. She'll shoot the guy behind her and she'll swing her hand towards the other two. You should duck here, a boy. And uh, what? she'll blast oh, two more times at the guy that's in front of Glee. 14 just hits. So for another uh, 21. What? Right. I like that. Stop. Mice, there's a chimpkin and no way down to Glee who has gotten himself on the ground. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Looks up and like, oh no, oh no. Um, <laughs> I don't want to leave the demon chicken, so I'm gonna. Uh, you could hollow. take the chicken with you. I could do that, but I want to see. I want to see mice chasing around a chicken. <laughs> hey, hey, come here! Come, come Who's faster, here. the chicken or the mice? <laughs> Uh, well, I think I'm gonna just attack with my light crossbow instead. Aww. Uh, because I don't want to leave this up here alone with you guys, and... Don't you have a javelin? It. Yeah, but it's magic, and it will lose its magic if I throw it. It's a shotgun javelin. Um, also, it's at long range. So is, it, is it that you can only use it once per day? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and it's not within 30 feet, so... Yeah, I will fire my grass bill upon the injured of the two. More, okay. more surfed. And, and okay. miss. Um, that's cool. <laughs> Alright, Mice, you're like scrambling to grab this crossbow and you grab it. And you just fire, and it falls short, <laughs> falls short of Glee to kind of ah! on the ground. Why is everybody shooting at me? Because you're rattled way over there. Rosie, you should your gun the spear. is empty, and Glee is in danger. I pull out a different gun. <laughs> I'll pull out my pistol and okay. use silver bullets to shoot. I will shoot whichever goat looks worse off. There's the one directly in front of him. Your Never gun germs. Fucking my. <laughs> the support fire is not working very well. Did 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 she miss all three? Uh, she rolled one. She I just jammed her gun on the one first on the one. First one. Remember when we had sword training? Maybe you should stick to the sword. Yikes. Fruit of hell. It's just Glee, like, ducking and diving out of the way. <laughs> Alright, Crazy, what would you like to do? I will... Okay. I will use a grip point to do rapid repair to try to fix it. And Tinker's Tools. Uh, 
Yeah, I believe the DC is um, nine, so you succeed. Whoa. All right, so then I'm going to shoot again. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Why is your pistol two-handed? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that's right. But you shoot him twice. Alright. Woo. I the yell out at Glee. Why did you go fight them? The chicken chickens around. Door. Ari said I have it! Orga was why? wrong. Move away from the chicken. <laughs> um, uh, sacred flame them. Damn, it's really good damage. There did he say? Dex, Dex. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, you. You bring the mercy upon them as uh, you burn them up a little bit with Radiant. Yep. And now it's their turn. The first one's dead. The other two are going to attack Glee. Seven and an 18. 18 hits me. Uh, you'll take 14 piercing damage, and uh, unless you are immune to becoming poisoned, I need a constitution 13 saving throw. You said 14 damage? Yep. And then con save. Come on, save. No. I need this. Thank you. This. Thank you. All right. You do not have your maximum hit points reduced. Lucky you. Also, they're a little bit stinky. Which means... I gotta roll another one. Why do you only have 68 HP total? I don't. Okay. You gotta roll one Another more. One? Okay. All right. You're used to stinky creatures. Yeah, they stinky. The one right in front of you looks almost dead. The one beside you looks pretty fine. Except for the <laughs> Mercy, one on the other please. side that looks dead. <laughs> as he'll use Word of Radiance again. And hit the one on the left with the uh, Big plus damage. five. Yeah. I'm only spamming. It is uh, still rolling 2d6. I can't fix it. I can't fix it. Okay. Right. I can roll a d6, though. Hold on. Mm -hmm. uh, no, it... it, it... Take an eight Radiance upon yourself. Okay, they both fail. Why do you have to lay? <laughs> Would you like me to roll the extra d6 for you? Need a hand, bud? You okay? Can't believe he died. Please roll Kalari. Oh, it worked. Called. All right. Twenty damage upon that one, then. Oh, 
right. I will assume there's nothing else he I don't he doesn't want to run away. So Ari, right, there's hey. a chicken next to you. Hey Alex, I got a phone call from someone in Wisconsin. Apparently, we got a fifty percent discount on our Spectrum bill. I just yeah. have to call them back. Wow, I mean, good thing we don't have Spectrum or live that, in Wisconsin at the moment. Damn Wisconsinites. Don't you know? Don't you know? <laughs> well, you got 50% off that bill you don't have, don't you don't know? know? It's funny that we could do those accents, but not others. Bye bye. <laughs> Which is not I... You know what, guys? I'm gonna redo everything. Uh, every big bad from now on is gonna have a Wisconsin accent. Wisconsinite accent? accent. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, I, I see you there trying to save the world, but I really can't allow any of that. Don't you know? All right, mice. There's one left, and the chicken. As All Ari right. almost beans Glee in the back of the head again. Well, um, Careful. I'm going to fire the crossbow again once because of the loading. Mm. I get another twelve. Mm. Oh wait, no, this, the last one was 11, this one's 12. I'm improving. That'll be my turn. As I remain close to the chicken. Alright. Mice <laughs> is sidling up along the chicken. And firing crossbow bolts. Everything, Everything seems to be near glee near, in your mind. mind for crazy. Crazy. Okay, there we go. Sorry. Did I kill him? You killed one. Yeah! And you did good damage to the other. Yeah! Crozy, you have one bullet in your gun. And you hate me. Don't say that. Well, she's not. She's not talking. Maybe somebody's talking to her. Well, that's very I'm rude. Sorry. Yes. Hi. Hi. Sorry. Dad wanted to ask me something. What's up? My turn. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna shoot the last goat. Does the 14 and 16 hit? Uh, you only have one bullet in your reload four gun. Oh, shoot. I'm, you're right. I forgot. Does the, but 16, the 16 does hit. Okay. Is he still up? Yep. All right. Well, there's uh, not really much else I'm willing to do for this, so I'm good. Chicken chickens. Core, there's one left and the chicken. Um, let's take care of this last one and then regroup a bit, I think, maybe. So she's gonna <laughs> flame. Dave. Fuck. 
<laughs> Which means he gets to attack Glee again. Huzzah! Seven! No, no. Stop! Leave me alone! <laughs> I was wrong, Why? I'm sorry. Why did you do this? <laughs> Consequences of my actions. Alright, Glee, how would you like to probably finish me. him off? I'm a young and impressionable person! <laughs> I'm really stupid. <laughs> Oh, is it my turn? Yes. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with old faithful here. Uh, well, I'd like to go with old faithful. Hold on. There we go. A combat. Word of radiance. All right, let's see if I can press this little tiny button that lets me s select what kind of dice I want. All right, he dies! Mercy, please! All right, you only take a moment. We will keep the same initiative, but you can gather up how you would like to to deal with a chicken that will soon not be a chicken again. I make it go away. You banish it. Yeah, I don't feel like dealing with it. So okay. Does that send it back to the mortal plane if it's a chicken at this moment? No. Because it's still technically whatever creature it is. Except when it's not. It's fine. Alright, is that a wisdom save? It's a charisma save. Charisma. We'll use the stats for an Abyssal Chicken. Minus three. I don't think he can make it. It can't. He's gone. You've done it. You've solved my people at the door. Go away! Are you okay, Glee? I'm fine. He says with a smile on his face and ignoring this large scratch. Heal yourself. Uh, no. I'd take five. No. I'd like to save these. Save what? My little healing... Ah. Uh. Thingies. I thought you meant the guys for a second. I was like, Are you, you want to save the pustule-covered goat demons? Okay. No. No, I gave I granted them mercy. What kind of you? I'm you such an in? awesome guy. Standing in front of this door, the gold runes glow in celestial. What do it say? It says... Let me see if I can actually read. I can't I'll read. also ask what the shield thinks of it. Um, it says, against evil we stand united. Only the pure of heart can part these holy gates. The shield thinks it's... Probably what you've been looking for. 
The pure of heart. Grab core and just hit it with it. Hit it. All right, you pick up core, <laughs> smash her into the door. <laughs> Assuming you don't actually do that, what would you no, like to do? Uh... Oh, you here has a pure heart. I don't suppose trying will hurt. Oh, try to open it. What is your alignment? <laughs> lawful neutral. Hmm. It was lawful good like a couple sessions ago. But then my memories came back. You push on the door and nothing happens. Not it. It's like size. It looks it looks at uh, Glee. Huh? I'll try to open the door. Yeah, sure. Go to try to open it. Oh. What? Is your alignment neutral good? You push open the door, it opens with the most gentle touch. Mm. Oh, that was easy. Indeed. <sighs> well, let's get inside and then close the door behind us. Wait, does that mean you're not pure mice? Yeah. But, but you're a good person. I don't, I don't think good that. and pure mean the same thing. What's it supposed to mean then? This is probably not a good time to talk about this. All right. Looking at the relief stuff. <laughs> Heads inside. All right. You all head inside. A bright white light burns away the blood and grit that stain you. Um, Ari, you feel the deep-seated hatred that kind of was consuming you wash away with it. Oh, no. This restorative energy brings back life to your numb muscles. And as the glow softens to reveal the interior of a sun-kissed cathedral. Pillars line the path from the front door to a raised dais carved with celestial runes. Embedded in the stone atop this dais is a glowing longsword. There it is. You all, there. before you do anything else, uh, may level to 12. Please do not restore things that you have spent, but if you gain something like a spell slot at level 12, you get that, plus the hit points you would get at 12. All right. All right, so I'm at 80. But eight's not bad in comparison to the four. Hey. 
105. So I just roll the hit dice. Yep. Pow. That's that's almost max. Yeah. That's not bad. Right? Yeah. 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 Oh, below. I increase my con modifier, which went up one, which means I get one more HP per level, right? Yep. Yep. So I get if eleven more goes. HP. Twelve technically. Because we're going into level twelve. But wouldn't I just add that with what I roll? You could do that, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Whether or not you rolled it beforehand or not. Uh, uh. There it is. Oh, oh, that's a five. Wow. Did I break even? Did I make a hundred? I'm a hundred and four. I'm a hundred and five. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Cor just suddenly got tankier. <laughs> Are you saying yikes for Karozi? Yeah. As nice as one more HP than Karozi. I'm 142! Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I have plus two con. Like, I have a really bad con. Uh, I have a plus four con. <laughs> That'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it would get more constitution, but I'd rather do more damage. Well, I had a 17 in con and dexterity, so I just put one at each, so now they're both 18. Lucky. Yeah. Negative six wisdom, though. Well, six wisdom. Negative two. Hey, uh -huh. I, have, I have a six in charisma. Hell yeah, six buddies. Woo! I threw fourteens instead. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's why. Oh my AC went up. Eight I wanna take. I mean Let me know when you all are ready to move forward. Mm hmm. It's all pretty Sorry, simple. I'm double checking something. No, it's all good. Yep, just ASI and HP for me.
Um, honestly, I'm probably just going to increase my intelligence. Okay. Alrighty, I'm good. I'm good. I am okay. Man, my stats are so fucking good, except for charisma. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I remember though. yours were insane. Both of yours. I have uh, a 20, two 18s, a 16, a 12, and then a 6. Yeah, you're, you're one higher than me. I have two 18s, a 20, two 12s, and a 6. 20, 12, two 14s, and a 10. Fucking Christ. <laughs> Which would make a great monk, but not not an excellent paladin. I almost took there's a thing that will let you take an extra uh, fighting style and I was like how funny would it be to get the up close and like the the archery one yeah it's point like, blank you to range it would be so fucking funny <laughs> all right how are you doing Craig oh I'm done okay oh um. As we respawn back into the situation post character update. Actually, can I switch that, Alex? Sure. Can I take the feed I described? Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. You all stand about 30 feet from the sword. Ari, as your previous sins are washed away but not forgotten, you feel your hair once again fall to your neck as Lulu reappears. And as she does, she grows until she is about the size of a small elephant. So I guess that's the sword, Lulu? Yes. Oh, by the way, for everyone else, Ari's voice is like breaking because like she's like in tears now oh god it was such a bit she hasn't said it yet yeah. but are you all right uh yeah i uh um i, I i'm sorry glee i for what Everything I just did to you? Huh. What'd you do? Put you in harm's are way. You... Are you back? Ari turns to you and like there's just tears streaming down her face. I I'm so sorry. I I I don't know what came over me. I it's said it did. You're back. I don't think it's fine, but I'm, I'm really sorry. It's fine for me. I'm glad you're okay. <sighs> Physically, sure, but anyway, yeah. Cool. Yeah. I'll just hug Ari. Shh. 
shall I hug you back. Pat you on the head. She just starts crying more. Head pats and hugs. Do you need some therapy? I can let's, help. Let's get out of hell first. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. And, uh... Glee will hold up his rod like a torch, you know, using it as a light. Do we need that? That was pretty Do lighting. we need it? No, it's like sunlight is coming in through the windows. You're not entirely sure how that works, considering... Oh, you know, from the sun. Smile. ...that this is encased in the scab, but it sure looks sunlit. Yeah, it... it, it... The reason why is because it looks like it's dark. In here. On the map. Uh, the map is not relevant at the moment. The map is uh, still the side view, of, side view of the scab. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that was. Uh, what's yeah, my it? apologies. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Cool. Then uh, look at Ari. Well. Well, what? The sword. Is it? Yeah. Am I supposed to take it? I mean, who else is supposed to take it? Probably uh, not me. <laughs> it's yours. And she'll I look to I'm... Lulu. Is it okay if I take that sword? I mean, for the time being, of course, we're going to give back to Sariel once we bring her back to the good side, but... The holly font just nods. I mean, okay. I saunter up to the sword. Sorry, you start to approach the sword, and as you do, this translucent image of a woman in her 30s appears before you. She is wearing plate armor and bears a thin scar on her cheek. And she looks like you. A little bit older, but definitely look younger than you remember. As you stare at your grandmother. She cries even more. <laughs> she can't handle this. Grandmother gives you a gentle nod and then points to Lulu, whose eyes turn this pure white. A whisper fills all of your ears as she says, I remember. And a wave of radiant energy erupts from her in a blinding flash. As you begin to be able to see again, you no longer see your grandmother, or the Holophant, or even the Bleeding Citadel. Instead, you all find that the solace of the cathedral has been replaced by havoc, screams of panic and acrid smoke. You're standing on the edge of a small town of burning cottages, fields, and trees. A broken sign on the ground nearby reveals the name to be Idle Glen. Shrieking town folk run from cackling, snarling demons and gnolls. And everyone may give me a history check if you would like. History! Did I do my learning? Some people did. 
this wasn't covered in Bible school. <laughs> I'm going to get there. Don't worry. I believe in you. Hold on. It's happening. I'm going through menus. Okay. Glee. Abilities. Abilities. Aha! History. Oh, I'm so good at these. It's an 11. That was a wait. I'm sorry. Uh, most of you are like, what the actual fuck are we doing here? Um, however, Ari, you remember from your history of the region and your history that your grandmother taught you that upon reflection does reflect... Zariel appeared a lot in. You remember, Ari, that Idleglen was threatened by a Null tribe ages ago. Uh, that when the Nulls raided the town, <coughs> Soldor Brightstar, a cleric of Lathander, led the people in prayer for his god to aid. Lathander was moved by the people's braver bravery and sent Zariel to defeat the Nulls. After driving off the knolls, the people erected a statue of Zariel to honor her. Generations later, it happened again, this time with demons joining the knolls and Yanogu himself leading the warband. Zariel once again came to Idleglen's aid, but not before the town was mostly destroyed. You can assume based on this information, that you are enjoying some amount of Lulu's memories that she just remembered. As the smoke clears, you find that some gnolls are surrounding you. There appears to be some woman trapped by dretches under a cart. There is a hyena that is facing off with a little dog. And there are plenty of people running around trying to escape yeah. cackling gnolls. We have to save the dog. I don't care if this is a memory. I mean, yes. Also, I mean, yes. Ah, uh, yes, the dog. Yeah, the dog. I also want to save the human. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you know, Get maybe the people too. Get your priorities straight, people. Just for context, the dog is like 600 feet away, Chris. <laughs> we got a long way to go, let's go. <laughs> yeah, just gotta, gotta start now, run, go. I'm sorry, Hi, they're 10 foot squares, which I am not dealing with, so it's only 300 feet away. Oh, there we go! Look at that. Do we have to save the dog? Yes. Uh, okay. Why, why are you anti-dog? <sighs> you all are surrounded by gnolls, regular gnolls. I'm not anti-dog. Sounds like you're anti-dog. So some dretches. I'm just pro-human uh, life. You can be both. Like, what? And achieve directly. Never whisper rolls. Oh, Rip Doggo. No! Uh, the Noel's going pretty no. quick. 
No. Are we rolling initiative? Yes. Okay. If this is a memory, do I lose my bullets? No, but you still have to reload. Okay. Oh, and there is also, sorry, a Hezero uh, trying to get into a building. Those damn heteros. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I said. My bad. Chris, you're straight. Look, I try to be. Wait, Why? where's the dog? Those darn cis shit uh, demons. Uh, the dog is like right here, 300 feet away. I'm sorry, this is a sucky map for you on your phone. What are these meatballs next to us? I think they're supposed to be trees. <laughs> They're they the look floating like meatballs cookies. from, uh. Oh god, what's it called? The Langoliers? Uh huh? It's a Stephen King movie where apparently when time. Once time has passed, giant floating space meatballs eat up the time. All right, no, that's, that's a documentary, that's real. It looks like you get to go first. <laughs> So if you want to save the dog, now's your chance. Nah, Karozi doesn't care. This is all a memory anyway. <laughs> so she's... She's just gonna care about, like... The people around her? And I think she's also going to look specifically at Glee... And be like, this is just a memory. Don't risk your life. They're already dead. And, uh, I am going to then shoot, uh, this one right here. This one? No, this one right here. This one? Yes. Okay. So, one. Yep. No! Yeah, just fixed it, too. Holy shit. No, I'll use a grip point to fix it. Okay, yep. I fix it, and I'll shoot my last one. Yep. Alright, All right, one regular Noel is dead. Nice. And I'm gonna move... Uh... Like, right here to block the other knoll from core. Sounds good. All the way on the other side of the map! The Hezro... Wants to get in this door. So he's gonna... Not, not get in this door. The giant Wait. hyena... Hmm? Sorry, I was being silly. Wants to kill this dog. But it misses! Ha! Ari! You are surrounded by ganoles. Lulu is nowhere in sight, and neither is your grandmother. I could thunderstep to the dog right now. You could. <laughs> Ari, there's a dog. It's a memory dog, but it's a dog. No, she would probably try to save the human over the dog, unfortunately. You monster. <laughs> totally yeah. understandable reaction. But, like, if it's a dream, could she do, like, dream shit? I'd like to like, lose a dream on um, a cannon. This define dream shit. Like, it's not fly. A dream, it's a memory. Okay. I wish I could change my memories. 
It is a memory, unfortunately. Um... Uh, she'll step up between these two, and she will attack this one first. Okay. See if my uh, new stuff works. 28. Definitely well, hits. Took away my uh, my booming blade thing, but gave me the, the five for necrotic, so. So 14. Yep. Uh, then I will slash it again. Uh, oh, that was one handed. Oh, well. Whoops. Now I try for real. Much more. 14. 14 misses. Okay. So you it's swing because... and you're like, wait, I use this two handed. And stumble a little bit with it. People are wasting no time to get into a fight with the creatures that surround them. What would you like to do? Okay. Um, so, uh, Karozi told me not to throw my life away. What a bitch. How dare she? <laughs> You can't tell me what to do. As he will hop over these people and fly up right here. God, I wish I could fly. Maybe you someday. You have the spell, don't you? Yeah, but... But, like, for free. I could use Cone of Cold. I would save Doggo if I could from here, but I can't. You're all just making excuses. You know what? Fine. Well, that's the last time we saw Glee. <laughs> Fine, then. I will attempt to save Doggo. All right. How are you going to do so? This is going to be so carefully. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay. I think I can save Doggo. Possibly. But I have to hit all three times. Because I got this thing. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, all right. I, I I I didn't know what else to get. So um, gonna shoot at the giant hyena, I guess. Yeah. He like closes one eye and then I think I can bang. Uh, did my internet cut out now? Fine. I'm not banged yet. All right. Well, let me. Uh... Now you have done one. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. Two. Ten feet. Again. Three. Again. The hyena looks kind of rough. And then she shouts to the woman, Don't worry, I'm on my way! All right. Glee ignores everything Karozi says. Mice, you're surrounded by gnolls. Well... I'm going to move up to here and engage them to help prevent them from getting 
to the small one. I'll take this one. This whole campaign is just protect child. They protect. But while the child casually solves all of the problems in combat. <laughs> yeah. Someone's got to do it. <laughs> all right. I do that much damage and then I hit it again. All right. It dies. And then I hit the other one. I don't. And you swing back at the other one, but it cackles maniacally at you. That'll be it. All right. The dretches, they're trying to destroy the cart that the woman's under. How many dredges are there? One, two, six. All right. Between all of them, I think they've successfully hit twice. They're, they're sure tearing away part of that cart. Oh no! The woman screams. Core. All right. Um. Fuck. Hmm. I. Yes. I guess we're just clearing up the ones in front of us for now. Besides Glee, um. Go for this one. The one above. Sorry, which uh, one? The one above. Uh, no. Uh, Ari. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna. That one has been hit. Yes. Okay. I'm just gonna do a sacred flame because the spells. No dexterity. Oh yeah, he dies. Um, I guess that's as far as I can go. Hee <laughs> hee, I stand on his corpse. <laughs> Fuck. Y'all set up to protect Kor, and she just runs off and stands on a corpse, composing. <laughs> <laughs> she laughs or maniacally. Just standing there like, I literally... Just told I told everyone this is just a memory. I was trying to protect Core, and she runs off. And God damn it, the gnolls! We're gonna do uh, clockwise. So first mice, then Ari, then Karozi. I think they only get one attack. They do. They're gonna try to spear you guys. Twenty-three, seventeen, Ow. eighteen. Ow! Mine misses me. So an 18 hit Karozi? I think so, yeah. Alright, 7 piercing for mice and 3 piercing for Karozi. Oh, healer! <laughs> healer! <Ow! laughs> the Mastiff! Meh! Seeing that the hyena is off of it, and seeing that a woman is trapped, is going to go be the goodest boy. And dash towards helping the woman. You son of a... He can't get there. <laughs> He's a good boy. Exactly. He's the best boy. 
Karozi, this this hy- hyena looking ass motherfucker has stabbed you, and no one is yeah. listening. Well, no, Ari no seems one... to be listening. For now, she just hasn't had the opportunity to not. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot the knoll. Cannoli. Fuck you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you? Fuck you. I pull out the fucking shotgun instead for the other two attacks. I hate this. Okay. 15 hits. 30 hits. All right. You... Still alive? No, you kill a knoll. All right. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. Um, I am going to action surge and use my extra action to uh, try to unjam my gun. Okay. Are you out of grip points? I'm not using the uh, rapid repair. Yeah, that's why I was asking if you were out of grip points. Yes. Rip. You know, if you just crit, you'd get those back. Well, I keep critting, don't I? (laughs) (laughs) Just on the wrong side. All right. You you fix up your gun with a huzzah of speed. This creature on the other side of the map once again slams into the door. But it holds firm. The hyena chases after the dog. In this game of cat and mouse. It's faster than the dog so it can catch up. But it uses its action to get there. The gnolls are falling like flies. But there's still a woman trapped and a dog in danger. There sure is. And the knoll right next to you. <sighs> and so many valid choices of action. She moves right here. Thunder steps. To get to the woman. Okay. Hopefully that's far enough away so it doesn't hit uh, core. It wouldn't hit core. Yeah. All right. It hits the woman. She dies. Does it hit where am I? No, it happens where you go. Where you cast it. I know. I'm just teasing. All right, that null is eviscerated. You thunder it to death. I will go here, and I will say, why don't you attack me instead? I stand defiance. Okay, uh, give me some uh, persuasion or intimidation. Um, well, I am bad at both. Persuasion or intimidation. Nine. Mm. You're still not scary. (laughs) <laughs> the the, the directors look at you and continue to gnaw on the cart that they are trying to break through. Cowards. Lee, the dog is in danger. The woman is honestly not that in danger because the directors don't seem to be doing much damage and Ari's there now. Karozi is livid. You're not sure why. <laughs> All right, I am going to shoot the dog. I mean, not the dog. The hyena. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Better to die by my hands. <laughs> I'm yeah, calling can animal control right now. Uh, can you move me thirty feet closer and see if I can hit the the the, the big toad thing in the back? I I'm can certainly try. Peta. I'm calling fantasy Peta. 
Smash. It's a bunch of really mean druids. Oh god. This map is too fucking big! Glee! I don't think I can. You, you, nope, you're 20 feet off. Oh! Alright, I'm gonna shoot the hyena three times. Here I, I go! once and see how your life looks. <laughs> oh, okay. I will shoot it exactly one time. Uh, Glee. Hi. Oh, gotta put the combat. Hi, y'all. All right, it ragdolls across the screen as the hyena is now dead. It just Skyrim falls. <laughs> All right. And then I'll shoot two of the dretches. Uh, the two okay. far, the, the two closest to the dog. Okay. Uh, one. And two. Eleven just hits. All right. They both look quite bad. Are you shooting Wait, closer to the dog? Eleven, eleven just uh, Didn't I roll a one? Yeah, but it doesn't. Didn't show it as a, a one, one. Still hit. A one is a one, no matter what. I still yeah, miss. so a one would not just hit because it would be a one, but an eleven would technically hit it if it wasn't a one. The other one gets flung back and looks damaged. Yeah, didn't put it in red for a one. Yeah, that is weird. Anyway. It might be because I'm rolling it from the phone app. Mm -hmm. You messed it all up. I'm sorry. Oh, I skipped mice. Mice. I attack. There this... is one gnoll left. This gnoll. This gnoll. Uh, attack it again. Gnoll is gonna be good dead. Do it. Did I, did I miss? You missed. I will kabonk. You kabonk him. He dies. You have killed the gnolls. Great. They despawn like they're uh, some kind of shadow enemy. Because I don't want them on this massive map anymore. Blah. Yeah. They disintegrate like that 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 face meme, that emoji meme. Uh, uh. They get snapped. All right, this stretch runs towards the mastiff. He bite. Oh no! He kill. The dog died. No! Revivify. Revivify! I will revivify the dog! <laughs> the rest of the dretches decide to tear more into this cart because Ari was not persuasive enough. All right, the cart shatters down on the woman, and the dretches have access to her next round. Kor, you are no longer standing on a knoll. The dog is dead. What would you like to do? Um. Nope. Oh. Head of a... They're pretty far from me. If you want, I could try to throw you. Um... (laughs) 
I'm not hearing a no. <laughs> I'm checking Listen, my spell any game, links. Any game with a halfling, you gotta throw the halfling at least once. They're I guess all I could have range. Fuck. Halfling. Um I guess I dash. You know, if Let someone had saved the dog, you could have written the dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all I can do because they're all outside of my spell range. Rip. Rip. To think I was about to get fucking spell, spell sniper and, that, and then I went, no, I've never needed it. <laughs> Fuck. The goal of the game. You don't need it, you say. Immediately shows you that you needed it. <laughs> I don't need it. Rosie, everyone is running to the rescue of this woman, presumably, because the dog is dead, so they can't be doing that. Um, what would you like to do? I mean, I'm gonna also start running. So... Mostly... Not even necessarily to save her, just like after everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to reload my gun as I run. Okay. That's my turn. Hezaru, he really wants in this door. Will he get in today? No. No, probably not. Sorry, right, there are dretches. The woman is sobbing in fear. There's two meat dretches for me to kill, and they're probably going to attack her next round. Do you have any spell slots left? Technically, yes. Oh no, I have to cold all of them. Can you teleport with her? She moves up. And in her most effective like, commanding voice, she will say, flee, and she'll cast Mass Suggestion. Ooh! All right, let's see. A number of dretches. How uh, can dretches make a... What is it? Wisdom saving, I believe? It's 17. Wisdom. Can they make this? Yes. Yes. No. No. Yes. No. Well, I tried. Stays. Stays. We'll flee. I will mark the ones that will flee. Fleeing. 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 All right. Three look like they're going to run. Another three look like they're going to stay. And I'll move just between these two, and I'll say, Come on, I'm right here. Easy prey. Alright. Glee, Ari has taken care of three of them. How far away are other people? Uh, Ari is a distance from you uh, with the dretches. Everyone else is trying to keep up with you and are within 30 feet of you. All right. I have an idea. So you know what that means, guys. Please don't run into melee combat again. I'm gonna run into melee combat. Okay. 
I mean, no, you're not. You're like 90 feet away from things, but you can try. Oh, you underestimate my power. A self runs directly into combat. Uh, Let's see how fast I can die. Where is it? It just reminds is me it of not, that one. Is it not on my spell list? I could have sworn it was. It? We were doing the Lost Minds of Fandelver, and uh, the character that Noah was playing was like, Don't worry, Nina. guys, I got this. And then you immediately went down. I mean, it was a fucking joke. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy, but she kind of was. <laughs> yeah. Hold on one second, because I should have a spell on my list, but it's not there, and I'm very confused. Because Would it be beneficial if I put it on your sheet? Check if Scatter is on my sheet. It should be. It is. Would you like yeah. me to click Shatter for you? Scatter? Yes! Scatter! Yes! Scatter! Alright. And I would like to move my friends up. Okay. How, lo how far can I move them? 120 feet. Yeah, they can go wherever they want. 120 feet from where they are. All right, if you are close to Glee, go ahead and put yourself where you'd rather be. That far. You teleport each effect of creature to an unoccupied space so that you can see within 20, 120 feet of you. So it's not move 120 feet, it's 120 feet from me. Yeah, it's 120 feet of me. Sorry. Uh, Karozi, I saw that you were technically a little bit... No, you're fine. You're within distance. Never mind. Yeah, I was within distance. I checked it first. Okay. <clears throat> I was going to say you could anyway, just because I... If, if I missed old Chris, that would be my bad. Die his. <laughs> Can you move yourself? Do you move yourself? Uh, I don't know if I can or not. Up Am I five viable? creatures of your choice. That you can see, you can see yourself. Alright, well then, I will move myself 120 feet forward, but away from the cart, because I want to shoot the guy in the back. That's a okay. good fucking use of that spell, Chris. Like I said, you underestimate my power. All right, you I was scatter forward. This going... is probably a good decision. Yep, like, scatter seriously, good. good well. Yeah, good fucking idea, man. Where did the yeah, turn exactly. order go? There it is. <laughs> it doesn't Again, do a ton for many... a sixth level spell, but it's repositions everyone, which is really good. The the problem was that I didn't have a good spell that Glee would cast whenever. For six level because all of them were kind of fucking bad. I I love the um, concepts of warlock, and then I play or build a warlock, and I get sad. Uh, so the way the way it looks is uh, uh, have you guys ever? You, you guys have played like Super Smash Brothers, right? Where and some of and one of the stages like just turns upside down. And like warps and oh, bends. Fucking Pokemon. I think it's a Pokemon. Pokey in the fucking Pokemon arena does that. He's the yeah, worst. That, yeah, yeah, that one. He All right, so the controls. <laughs> so basically, what happens is, uh, Glee opens up his book, and and looks around, and then just rips it in half. And when he does, it looks like like everybody's vision just kind of like splits split screens and then he smashes the book back together and the binding comes back together and everybody's in the place that they 
they had basically Glee had chosen for everyone, but you know where everybody is now. Ooh, that sounds fucking badass. Cool. All right, everyone Love has it. come come to the dretches. Mice, uh, the w- one of the ones next to you looks like it's about to run off, but That's the right. ones by Karozi are looking admittedly more like they want to run off <laughs> because now there's three oh, people yeah. between them and their prey instead of one. I will attack the one beneath me. All right. Well, I miss, probably. Not a dretch! You hit a dretch with a 13. Wink. He looks very bad. Wink. He looks dead. Stinky butt, the other one that's not fleeing already. Also a hit. (laughs) All right. He looks bad, too. That's me. The dretches. Runs away. This one's leaving my range and I will murderate it. No survivors. Ready? No survivors? Okay. Never uh, mind. A survivor. 11 hits. Never mind. It, it, it doesn't survive. It actually dies. It actually dies. <laughs> this Gosh. one runs away. This one runs away. This one. Oh man, that plus nine is really paying off. Disengages and runs away. This one sees all its friends leave and runs away. Core, these creatures seem to be uh, cowardly. There is still the big frog thing attacking the door. Uh, what would you like to do? Door? Oh, I see. That's what Glee's been running to, but he can't. He he can only go so fast. I see. Um, they'll probably a bit far for Core without the oh, spell. Oh yeah, she's sniper. fucking slow. Um, if Core hadn't been scattered, she'd be here in eight rounds. Yeah. <laughs> Half lane life. Small. Um... Oh, damn it. I just thought of a better way to look, to do scatter. Next time it becomes relevant, you can do a different yeah. way. Yeah. Mm. I guess she runs. And tiny little legs. Um, oh, I should be like right beside that thing. Um, it's fine. Other people are going after her. I'm sure she won't. But it'll be fine. It'll be fine. She dashes. That's it. Actually, Cor runs directly up to one of the fleeing dredges. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got a fucking just like. <laughs> <laughs> Get his ankles. She's like not even looking at it. <laughs> he just wholeheartedly believes that someone else will take care of it for her. That's right. <laughs> Almost certainly true. The dredge looks. The dredge looks back, and there's just and like looks towards core, and there's just like a a, a rain of fire. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That's my turn. Like trying to escape, and Kor's like, "No, you will die." No, nope. I'm not gonna do. Why is this small <laughs> child chasing me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rosie. Before you go, you hear this chorus of screams rise up as a collection of people, sheep, and pigs scamper through the town from the north. It is being chased by a demon with a lower body of a great serpent and the upper body of a sixth-armed knoll. It's clutching wicked swords in each of its clawed hands. 
I will put him um, on the map. Sorry, what is what is it chasing? People, sheep, and pigs. Okay. Okay. Where are they? Where are they? You know, this by up here. This thing. Okay. Cool. Let me get back on the correct layer. Sorry. Uh, Jamie, I was like, oh, this thing's going to spawn at the top of the round, which mm -hmm. is right after Jamie. Yep. I don't even know where it is. Oh, there it is. I see. Yep. It's trying to move Karozi. I'm just sorry. Just flug her across the map. Wow. <laughs> this thing alrighty well I'm gonna have disadvantage but I'm gonna shoot it why, would you why are you gonna have disadvantage you're sure, sure oh right I forgot that exchange just expands my range god damn it okay you, yes. you're, you're built for this shit <laughs> I'm gonna shoot it are you gonna kill the dresh next to core first no if it's running away I'm not going to Right? It was just running away, right? It was just running away, yes. Yeah. Uh, 16 will miss. 15 will also miss. Alright, I give up, guys. I'm oh done playing. That's, That's like now. three critical That's failures. That's three guns jammed. I'm done. Holy I'm whatever. shit. It's fine. It's whatever. Piece of I don't shit, care no. anymore. It's what happens when you... Anyway. Man, what happens when guns you bring a gun to a sword you. fight? Gun sucking five E. I don't care. Yeah, it it sucks because I'm like I don't feel like this is balanced how I want to, but I also There's recognize no how un unbalanced it gets when you remove it. There's no answer. The answer is let's play Pathfinder. Yeah, the answer Which is, is the game's on because... <laughs> Which is stupid because this is D and D, and it should just work. All right, crazy. You shoot at this thing. You draw its attention for sure, but you do not uh, hit it. Yeah. The Heather, I... he will in this door today, baby. Not today, was... though. The most annoying part for me personally is that it takes a grit point to unjam it for a bonus action. I mean, eventually you can fix it without it, right? It costs an action. Eventually she can reload on a bonus action. Oh, okay. She still doesn't have For that. Fix. Okay. Ari, uh, there, a new contender has joined the field. I uh, go to stand next to... Um, Core. And... I believe it's in my range of 120. It is. It's yep. 115. I will rain down a hail of Eldritch Blasts. I won't. I still won't. Nope. Just kidding. Y'all have super oh. drawn its attention, the, but um, no last... damage has been dealt. Two, three, four, five, six, eight rolls have not been above a... Oh my god. Hey, five. Two, oh, two, four. said, actually, fuck you guys. Go outside, dudes. <laughs> Touch grass. Glee, your friends All are right. trying to take out this abomination, and they are not succeeding. It's like deflecting right. with its various swords. I get here. <laughs> I will shoot the frog thing. To get try to get its attention. All right. And uh, one shot at the frog thing. Yep. Does it look my way? It does turn. 
Hey! Your face is, all, is full of warts only a mother could love! Apologize, Glee. That was rude. I'm so sorry. That was bad. I, 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 I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I just wanted you to go to, to stop hitting that door. Would you like to do the other just, tea shots? Uh, just gonna shoot the dredge next to, next to core. Oh, I, I hit dagger by mistake. Hold on. I was gonna say that doesn't kill it somehow. Okay, that does. And then uh, last one. Fuck it. We'll kill what the one dredge that's not mass suggestion. <clears throat> okay. Nope, no, I won't. Alright, cool. Eh, fuck it, whatever. The Dretch ducks and uh, agrees that he wants to run. Mice, you're once again in the back. The woman peeks out from the rubble and gives you a nod. He looks like she's gonna run into this building. Alright, stay safe. Uh... See, that one's running away, and I guess I'll be dashing. Woo! Five. Just like... Alright, the dretches are functionally out of combat unless you want to kill them, because they are running. I do, in fact. Okay. Well, you can... Certainly try to kill the one that... Yep. That was stop at regardless, but... It, it stops in place. Very hurt. In whimpers. It gives Karozi this, like, look of... Help me. Oh, no, help me. I was only killing civilians. <laughs> I was just trying to murder... Alright, this bitch moves 40 feet. Come at me. Snake. Alright, yeah, if you want it to, it can come another 40 feet. Good. Core. Alright. Um, I get to do things again. Yay! Mm -hmm. uh, squinting, because I took my glasses off. Mice is fine, health-wise. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. What spells do I have left? I will do another chaos bolt. At the big snake thing. Okay. 27 definitely hits. Alright. Take off that spell. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an 8 and a 7. Hey, not bad. Which is psychic or thunder. Let's do psychic. Alright, sounds good. And I'm gonna go here. One day someone's gonna do the infinite cascade on Chaos Bolt until it kills everyone. I had it leap once. Oops, it bounced four times and killed God. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie, there is a Throwing dredge a looking ball. whimpering at you, and then there is this monstrosity attacking mice. <clears throat> um, I don't care much about the dread. I'm gonna shoot the monstrosity attacking mice. Yeah, that's more That's more important. Your gun is uh, broken. Carfuculated. Yeah, I'll use my wicked uh, shotgun. Okay. 
That is wicked shack. You can't fire that. It's empty. Why not? It You're is right. empty. <laughs> it is empty. Why? What is the point of having all these guns? <laughs> <laughs> I think you still have a pistol. I do. I'll use the pistol. I'll use silver bullets. Alright, you hit it three times. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to do as much damage as you'd like, as it's not silver that matters. It's magical. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I know! I'm gonna go die in the corner. Okay. Feel free to move your token to any corner that you would like. Hezaru, he, he he's been shot. Oh no. Uh he'd like to run barreling towards you guys. He can't get very far. Ari. There are some big boys and the lonely dretch. Get yeah, she also doesn't care about the dredge. She'll pony up next to mice. And she will attack. Yeehaw, you Yeehaw want to motherfucker. The opposite side for advantage? I don't have the movement speed for that. Okay. Sorry, I just wanted to. Movie where I was was my 30 feet. <laughs> I didn't okay. think we were doing. It would be plus two, but I think we need one other person. I don't no. know how it works. You can do it with the two of you, it, but you can't with where you're currently at. Oh, yeah. Um, Schwab. 24. Yep. And then Schwab. 18? Yep. So. 27. Where's that extra five from? Uh, Life Drinker. Dream. Oh. Ari's a life. Dream. I'm sorry, that's your charisma modifier? You're an intelligence. I'm being Alright. Yeah, okay, that'll be one now instead. <laughs> um. No, it would be based on your intelligence because everything is. I'm just being a obnoxious prick. No, no, no. That's cool. That's cool. Lee, you've gotten the Hezaru's attention. You don't know what the snake thing can do. Well, I'm busy trying to keep the, the trying to keep that thing from killing everybody. I'm gonna keep shooting the the big the big scary toad thing. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call you. Say, say you're you're ugly. You're very pretty. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Did it roll? Nope. Now, nope. yeah, now it did. Uh, the 15 doesn't hit, but the other two will. Push it back 20 feet Push and you like, yep. little fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry! You, you're not ugly! You're very pretty! I'm sure your mother loves you very much! But only your mother! Mice, this snake lady has... Six swords. That's cool. She can I'm sure she that. won't attack six times. Certainly not. Because I'm going to kill her in one turn. That's what's going to happen. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Let's let's go for that. Now smite. Okay. There's the damage for the attack. And I take again. I'll smite. Okay. And bonk. 
So close. All right, she looks bloody. As it is her turn. And she does not attack six times, she attacks seven. That's fucking bullshit. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> she will swing all six of her long swords at mice and her tail at Ari. No. A one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six. One a crunch. For 18 Ow, flashing. What the fuck? <laughs> and then the tail for Ari. 15 will no. miss. Oh. That's an absurd roll. What's absurd is that she missed five times. She missed six times. <laughs> With a plus nine. 2d8 <laughs> plus four? Jesus. It's because she's big. That's what happens whenever they're big. They get bigger dice. That's or, not how it works in Tith Edition. <laughs> yes, it is. Fine. All right. Th that woman just like not spun always. in a circle and really tried to hit mice. And boy, howdy, if she had actually done so, so that would have been bad. Yeah. Um. The core's attention was on the bullfrog barreling straight towards her, and then she saw that out of the corner of her eye and went, "Oh, <laughs> um, not that no has more. to be stopped." Um, I'm going to twin cast haste on um, my send Ari. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Haven't been hasted in a very long time. <laughs> Pick your energy shot. Yeah. Yeah. Reputation. Need anything. <clears throat> yes, okay, so I will use thing. I'm just doing sheet stuff. Mm -hmm. That's my turn. Okay. <clears throat> Paste is much Spice. weaker in Pathfinder, but it, you don't have to concentrate on it. Corrosive. That's cool. That thing is uh, spinning. Spin to win. Do it. Should Repair your my... gun. Yeah, fix my freaking gun. Okay. You did it. All I do, I fix the stupid gun <laughs> that keeps jamming. It's my turn. I don't believe... I don't believe guns jam nearly that often, even the old ones. At least not in the way that you have to repair. All right, he bounced 60 feet forward. All right. Huh. What's my movement speed at heist it? Double. Double it and give it uh, to the next guy. All right, uh, Glee, you get sixty extra feet. Um, you got this right, mice. Mm. And I'm going to hexblade the bullfrog, and I will intercept him. I'll take the attack of opportunity. And so you shall. And I attack this reaction for attack. And I missed. A comedy of errors. Alright, and I will go to town on this bullfrog. Does a 17 hit? I believe it does. Yes. So, plus four because of the hexblade. Curse. Mm -hmm. And one more because of haste. You get two more. Pardon me? Yeah, you get an action, mm. which is two strikes. No. Is no, it? no, you get one. That was just an extra attack. Yeah. It's just, yeah, an just extra one attack. attack. All right, so 
Um, don't you don't you get extra attack because of yeah, but thirsting blade? I do, but it's not an extra action. It's an extra attack, right? Yeah. So you should have three attacks total right now. And there's three attacks there. Are there three? Okay. Never mind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My game just d decided to disconnect, so I didn't see it. All right. Um, never mind. So All right. 20, 30, 40, 45, 49, 53, 57 points of damage. Yeah, he, he looks uh, unhappy that he has left his door for this. <laughs> hey, right. Bullfrog, how are you? You got this, Ari! Hey, Mice, you have a friend. So oh, she didn't move. I'm sorry, that's my bad. Uh... She would love to play with you some more. She's never going to hit you again because your AC is now bonkers. But that's fine. Why do you say these things? <laughs> All right. I'll attack. Let's go. Did we skip me? Yeah. We skipped Glee. Totally did. Oh, no. Glee, it's your turn, actually. All right, shooting the bullfrog. Bang. Bang. Uh, bang. And Ari's okay if I move it, right? Yeah, okay. You have, you, yeah, you, you, you super speedy right now, so push it back 30. I mean, it's push back 30. It will... I mean, I, it, it's going to move again, but you know. And Boomy Blade does not go off, right? Because it was forced to move. It wasn't a willing. Yes, but move. it will when it moves. When it decides yes. to run up on you. Oh, cool! So this Neat. is actually the ideal way to actually get it to trigger. Yep. It it only does the last uh, attack, right? So it'll do eight thunder damage when it moves. We'll say it does the highest of your three. Okay. Um, which will, in this case, be eight. Neat. Now, mice, now you may play. Wow. All right, let's go for my attacks. Normal one. <clears throat> there it is. Uh, okay, goodbye. It's time for the big one. It's 40, 58. 72. Did you crit? Yeah. All right. She looks 76 nice. damage. Bad. I have three more attacks. You do have three more attacks. Well, bush. I, oh my god. Fuck off. I crit, I crit again. <laughs> did he, did he crit again? Jesus. <laughs> Can you chill? <laughs> Apparently not. You, you look at your Karozi and you're like, huh, seems to be a skill issue. <laughs> skill <laughs> issue. Hey, thanks nice that. Have you tried not using a gun? Wait. All right, I got this. how do you kill this six armed creature? This champion of Yanugu? It's like half fillets the the snake bit with the first strike and then like lops off half of its arms and like digs into the side of its head and then it blows up of course all right what would you like to do with the rest of your turn i would like to kill this dretch <laughs> Fucking okay. dredge. It's dead. You still have one more attack, don't you? I rush off and I attack this one. Jesus, relax. <laughs> that almost was another one. That was a 28. <laughs> Alright. 
All right, Mice is just like, what if I explode as she kills this guy too? Paladin addicted on haste. Some more speed. <laughs> it's me, Cocaine Rat. Uh, I think everything's dead. Everything is dead. Uh, and as such, we will what? have them come in now <laughs> instead of skipping Cork, because that's just kind of mean. Out of the corner of the map, you see the map, the area, you see a number of human guards appear. They are covered in this black ichor and they are laughing like gnolls. Yay. No! No! Right. No! Not right. I can save them! Not right. God damn it. <laughs> I'm rushing out this way. He just looks way. at them and he's like, oh, fucking hell. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Kor, is there anything you would like to do as these guards come rushing in? Oh, yay, people we have to shoot now. No, we can save them! Um, oh, no, it's not gun? real. It's not real. <laughs> yeah, do you have a water gun you can just shoot them with? Maybe it's just the goo. Super Mario Sunshine shit. Yeah... Anyone got a wet wipe? You got a nappy? I can, I can grant them mercy. By killing them? No, what? Uh, I'm gonna do a sacred flame on the two closest to me, so these two. You know, white in the white background can totally see it, right? Oh, yeah, I, but I didn't know what shoe you're talking about. Okay. All right. As you kill these two guards, you hear in your mind a shout of, No, don't! From Lulu. I need you to make a wisdom oh, no. save, Jamie. Okay. Uh, you will gain a, one level of exhaustion. Cool. As you have uh, killed people. In this memory. <laughs> the rest of the guards God. already ran in. Core's bloodthirstiness comes through <laughs> once <Jesus>. again. <laughs> when will her Just reign of terror... Just follow what you guys normally do! <laughs> when will her reign of terror end? <laughs> She's literally <laughs> just doing what you guys do! <laughs> You are she starts red sobbing. from the blood of oh, your enemies. No. <laughs> Core looks tired and she's sobbing and she killed two men. What would you like to do? Um, I'm actually gonna kill more of them because I don't know what's oh, going Oh no. Because Core, Core, of course Core would cry after shooting people. Mm-hmm. Like, that just makes sense. <laughs> yep. Perosi, <laughs> on the other hand. Alignment to change. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot him. I don't even think it is a, a lot, an alignment change. She can't do shit. Core is lawful good. <laughs> no, Not that's fair. No more. Karozi is neutral good. Honestly, chaotic might also fit her, but like, I was gonna say chaotic neutrally good. That is, it, you got it. Uh, 
but I'm gonna use my gun and I'll shoot first one. Fuck you. Jesus Christ. He's Fuck you. you get a grit point back as you kill this man. Almost certainly. Yep, he's dead. Don't you only get grit points if it's like a challenging creature? <laughs> no, challenging it's, creatures it's or crits. Okay. <laughs> or a crit. Right. And I shoot the next one. I get a crit on a on a baby. Alright. Alas. Oh Hydrogen my God. bomb. You kill three and you need to also make a wisdom saving throw <laughs> as Lulu's like, what are you doing? Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> She says, defending people. They could have been saved, as you also take a level of exception. Ugh, killing people so She's exhausting. Like, I didn't know that! <laughs> Why are we killing people? Because they're controlled, apparently Lulu... She, like, grits her teeth, looks to the others, and says, apparently Lulu did not like that. Lulu will remember this just Lulu in the does. corner of Karozi's HUD. Hey, Karozi actually remembered Lulu's name this time. Yeah, <laughs> the true. dumb elephant. As these bodies seem to fade into mist, you hear a woman's voice speak in your head. It sounds similar to Ari's. Uh, as it says, nice work, take a break. We've got an hour before the really bad stuff happens. Take a short rest! You all may take a short rest or do something else if you would prefer. And we will pick up next session as you continue to live through the memory of... Idleglen. Uh, I'm going to type it in the chat for Jamie and I. Um... Karozi uh, and Kor uh, have one level of exhaustion. Oh, I have it on my sheet. CH. Well, There's I'm typing it up for me. Okay. There is an exhaustion tracker that you can turn on. And work and stuff. That's Where's work that? and stuff. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Um, if you click the option, it's on the character sheet side of it. Um, the settings. Um, In the settings on the far right. Goggles. Mm -hmm. Uh, below where it says show, like, global DC stuff, there should be something that says show exhaustion. It is... One, two, three, four, five, six down, six up from the bottom of that um, box on the far right. I see. Thank you. Yeah. I, I appreciate that, like, all things considered, y'all still aren't very tapped. No. <laughs> Core has been saving spells. Yeah, I can still blow up, like, I, four more guys. I took three whole points of damage. Like, we need to we need to run or something. We gotta tighten up our tactics. Exactly. I took zero damage. I will actually just use second wind, because I'll get it back anyway and get my health back up. All right, everybody, might as well do this. Put your, put your. Um, I'm gonna uh, use a second level spell slot to get some sorcerer points back. Okay. Hit this thingy. Points. I don't know oh, yeah. how much it, how much it is right now, so I'm just gonna put it in. Uh, feature traits. Warlocks don't get their sixth level spell back on a short rest. No. Okay. No. Yeah, that's a, a thing doodle. Okay. A thing doodle. A, a thing doodle. A thing doodle. Other, other feature. A thing doodle. But we get everything else back on a short rest. Yeah, you're sure you yeah. um, Error. 
Error. Why did it give me an error? It says 12.0 plus. I think no. it has to be an integer, maybe, but that's kind of weird. Oh, you know what? Because I don't have floor or ceiling. Did it? What? I don't know what that meant. You don't uh, have floor or it's, ceiling. It's a You're math floating. thing. It's a it's it's rounding. It You're doesn't have the rounding part in it. Congratulations, you can fly. It it tells it tells the computer <laughs> what where to round. <laughs> Jesus. You float away. I, 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 I wanted I wanted to sigh. Mm-hmm. There are people who believe that Wi Fi will leak out of their house with leave the window open. Like it's yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's because they're right. It does. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's <laughs> not untrue. <laughs> it's not untrue. Sorry, yes, you're right. Will the house mm-hmm. if you have your window open? I fully a hundred percent believe that computers work because there are little gremlins inside of them that very quickly paint the pictures every time you try to move or click something. That's actually how it does work though. That that is my personal belief is there's little gremlins in there that paint a whole bunch of pictures. And the tinier gremlins are the ones that go into laptops. Mm-hmm. Specialized. And also, the computer gets overheated because the gremlins get tired and they need breaks. Right. Now, do gaming consoles work this way as well? Yes, of course. And Game Boys? Oh, no, wait, and... I'm sorry. Specifically, anything technology is run by gremlins. Ah, yes, 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 yes. So, do we get 12 temporary HP? Is that what I get from that error? Uh, I hope so. It looks like twelve. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and see if it'll work this time. Does that mean you get seventeen? I think. Let's try again. Seventeen and eleven. Oh. Feels bad, man. We lost one. Why is it six different now? Four is only it's, five. It, it'll it'll go it'll go up. It, yours will go up, but mine won't be level. Oh no, no, mine will go up next level. Never mind. It's because it's half. 